Meanwhile, thousands of people took to the streets of the Sudan's capital on Sunday to protest against the 25th of October military coup. This was, of course, the ninth in a series of demonstrations against the military coup that has pushed the country into political chaos. The protesters marched to the presidential palace in Khartoum to reject the October military takeover and also the subsequent deal that has reinstated the Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok. The protests continued even after the Prime Minister was reinstated last month, with the demonstrators now demanding for zero military involvement in the government affairs. Any انقلاب مرفوض, any انقلاب مرفوض, حتى بعد حتى بعد سعود حمدوك للحكومة. And إحنا صورتنا صورة ديسمبر المجيدة من أجل مؤسسات مدنية ومن أجل سلطة مدنية كاملة وليس أشخاص وأفراد. The police also fired tear gas to try and disperse the demonstrators ahead of the protest. Security forces sealed off major roads leading to the airport and army headquarters. The demonstrations also took place in other cities as well to mark the third anniversary of the protest that started a popular uprising that led to long-time leader Omar al-Bashir being overthrown. Despite security forces blocking bridges in the capital, the protesters were able to cross a bridge connecting the city of Omdurman to central Khartoum. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.